been a bit of a long time no see hasn't it <laughs> so much for uploading weekly that went really well um so i went mia as you have probably noticed seeing as my last video i think it was like five months ago now um but basically i am now back in education so i'm a student vet nurse um i'm still an equine photographer and now i'm working in the vets as a student obviously as well as studying um as well as riding so everything just got a bit crazy and uploading kind of took a bit of a back seat but obviously i've still been chipping away with the horses um i'm still in my bathroom it's still the best lighting in the house <laughs> but um yeah so i didn't give up riding or anything i just which you will know if you follow my instagram by the way which is at ellie and ralph one i'm still active on there like still posting daily um just kind of fell off the youtube train a bit um, but I thought I'd come back on because as we all know I love a good dressage voiceover um, and I have been doing a few dressage tests with Merino so these were now a few weeks ago which is also really embarrassing because I've had no time to do anything so I'm going to do some more voiceovers I have the first test I was all biz with um, he came fifth I believe um, I'll insert that first do we voiceover talk you through the whole thing the second test was actually our worst score of the entire year. But I will tell you all about that whenever I insert that test after. It was awful. Little teaser there, it was really bad. <laughs> um, but yeah, so I'm going to try and keep this nice and short and sweet because if you do want to find out all my, my life's adventures, you can head over to the Instagram. That's where all the juicy biz is. There's nothing really exciting over here anymore. Um, but yeah, I will stop my rambling and get on into it. So this is the first of our two tests. It's actually a British eventing test. Um, so we had an A entering working trot without halting to X, X to H working trot. We got a seven for this and the comment just says positive entry. Then we have H, C, M, B working trot. We got a seven for that again. Um, and then at B we have circle right 15 meters in diameter in working trot. We got an 8 for this and the comment just says well shaped um, and then at A we're down the centre line to X and then X M um, working trot. We got a 7 for this and the comment just says a little tension to contact. Um, oh I'm a bit ahead in my commentary. <laughs> um, then after this we go M C H E working trot. We got a 7.5 for that and no comment. Can I just say the scribe has the neatest handwriting I've ever seen as well. <laughs> then at E we have circle left 15 meters in diameter in working trot. We got a 7.5 for this and the comment just says slightly large but clear rhythm. Um, and then we have between K and A working canter left. We got a 7 for this and no comment. Um, I was actually, I came out of this test feeling quite deflated but at the end I was actually, after watching it, it looked a lot better than it felt. Um, then we have AFBM working canter. We got a 7 for that and the comment just says could be more forward which I completely agree with. Um, and then at C, circle left 20 metres in diameter with a transition to trot at X. Another 8 for this. I was really, really happy with this. Um, no comment, unfortunately, but I was so pleased with his downwards transitions in this test. Then at H, we have medium walk. We got a 7 for that, and once again, no comment. Um, and then H, E, F, medium walk. We got a 5.5 for this, 5.5. Could be a little more active, walk becoming too beat, which is 100% correct. The judge actually is an absolute sweetheart. She came out of the car at the end um, and just explained to me that, um, not to take this comment personally, um, he just gets a little bit tense and goes into this two beat walk. He's done it from he was a baby. Um, it's just him. So she did come out and explain that to me, which I also really appreciated, just to make sure I didn't get disheartened, which was lovely. Um, and then A, working trot, K, E, H, working trot. We got a seven for this and no comment. And then between H and C, working canter right, we got a 7 for this again and comment just says obedient, 
which I'm just watching it, it actually was quite obedient, what a good boy. Um, and then MBF, Working Canter, we got a 7 again for that and no comment. Um, at A, circle right 20 metres in diameter with a transition to trot at X, we got an 8 again. Um, and the comment just says, well balanced. I'm so chuffed with this little piece of the test as well. Um, and then AKX, Working Trot. And at G, Halt, Immobility and Salute. Um, we got a seven and the comment says a little loss of balance but nice square halt. Um, the collective marks, the paces were seven, impulsion 6.5, submission seven, uh, position and seat of the ride seven and the final comment just says such a lovely lad, willing and obedient but could just be a little more forward now in canter and walk for a more clear rhythm well done for 71%. Now on to our second test, which was a bit of a disaster, I have to say. Um, at A, enter in working trot, proceed down the centre line. At C, turn right, C, A, working trot. We got a 6.5 and the comment says, fairly straight, more steady to contact. At A, half circle right, 20 metres diameter. X, circle left, 20 metres. X, half circle right, 20 metres diameter. We got a 6.5 and the comment says, more supple to bend left and steady to contact. Pretty much all of our comments are about contact, so I'm going to stop reading them because it literally all just says steady to contact. Um, we had a very tense merino, lots of spooking in the warm up, and also a short warm up because we were running ahead of time. That didn't go to plan. Um, the wind was horrendous. We had a spook get into the arena because of the rain. We then had a massive spook coming out of the arena because of the wind and the rain. Um, yeah, I, it was just it was just a disaster. Um, so I'll stop reading the comments because they all just say contact and about my left bend which we then had a physio out after because I also realised the issue during this test. Um, then we have AK working trot, KXM change the rain um, working trot I believe, yep. Yeah. I've got six for this and it says again fussy to contact, why did I read that I just said I'm not going to read it. <laughs> then between M and C working canter left, C circle left 20 metres diameter, C H E working canter. Another six, um, we actually got a comment saying obedient to canter as well as our contact in this. Um, then between A and K, transition to working trot. K, A, F, working trot. K, F, X, H, change the rain and working trot. Another six. Um, and then we have between H and C, working canter right. At C, circle right 20 metres in diameter. At C, M, B, working canter. Um, 6.5 for this and the judge did say better this way which I agree with although I still wasn't thrilled with how he went but again we did have the fizzy white, the weather etc etc so it's one of those days it wasn't for us and we just kind of moved on as if it never happened well obviously we we addressed the issues <laughs> we had lessons and then we went let's forget that ever happened <laughs> um <clears throat> oh sorry coughing right in the mic and everything so between H and C, blah, 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 done that bit. Uh, between B and F, working trot. Between A and K, medium walk. We got a 6.5 for that. Uh, K, B, change the rein in free walk on a long rein. B, H, change the rein in a free walk on a long rein. H, C, medium walk. Uh, I got a 6 for this and it says the steps could be more regular for a beat, which is 100%. We started getting into our choppy little two beat walk. And he also was seeing ghosts and refused to stretch down. Normally he gets eights for his free walk, so I was a bit gutted with this. But um, I was actually surprised that I was so brave to give him so much rain because of how tense he was. It kind of felt like I was sitting on an unexploded bomb. Anyway, CMB working trot. BX half circle right 10 metres diameter. And between X and G halt immobility and salute. We got a 6.5 for this and the judge did say we had a nice square halt, which was nice. So for our collective marks, a rhythm 6, suppleness 6, contact 6, rider's position 6.5 and rider's results 6.5. Um, then for the overall comment, nice horse trying hard to produce a pleasing test, now needs to become more supple over the back and to bend left, quietly ridden, well done, for 62.37 overall. So that is all for today's video. Two very, very different tests with two very different outcomes, I have to say. 
but you know horses, this is the joys of them, things can be a little bit unpredictable sometimes. Um, I have managed to dig out my little Christmas rosette, this was a Christmas dress actually we were doing. Um, this is our little fifth place one, how cute is that? Um, the places were actually really close, um, there was like not even 1% between me and like second, it was really really tight. Um, but yeah no I'm still over the moon with him obviously because when am I not, he tried his little heart out for me even whenever I am like a sack of potatoes on his back. <laughs> Um, but yes, my rambling, I just, I love to just ramble on in these outros, don't I? There's my shaving cream. I know that's a bit embarrassing. <laughs> um, so yes, I'm not sure if, I don't think, in all honesty, don't think that the weekly uploads will be coming back anytime soon. I am up to my eyeballs in work and studying and student life and just the whole shebang. Um, but I will, you know, I'll keep doing the show vlogs because I like to look back on them and if anything particularly interesting does crop up in my life, I'll do a little vlog on it. We will see. God knows how long it'll take me to get it edited and actually get it uploaded. But the intention is there. I put it out into the world so now it may happen. <laughs> but yes, that is all for today's video. I do hope you enjoyed. If you did, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe and I'll see you whenever I see you for another video. Bye!